Rocket, you guys, the coach, really just talked about the turnovers and how they kind of, you know, allowed UCLA to, to get back in the game and, all, and also you know, end up winning. Could you just, from your standpoint, talk about the role that they played in the games tonight? Yeah, well, turnovers at any stage of the game are going to hurt your team, especially when it leads to uh, fast break points and they convert off turnovers. I think they had 18 points or something off turnovers and take half that back and we win the game by six or whatever. So, uh, yeah, turnovers, especially down the stretch, were costly. Talk about the game for you personally. In the first half, you had 19 points. You end the game with 25, so only six in the second half, obviously, that zone defense. Uh, kind of took you out of the game. What was it like from the first half to the second half for you? It was the same thing. The zone didn't affect me that much. It was just touches. Uh, our guards were hitting their shots from the perimeter, so uh, we just go to our strength. If they're going to hit shots, then you go straight to them. Uh, I got my share in the first half. That made them go zone. That stretched it out for our shooters and just play to our strengths. Do you feel you guys let one kind of go away tonight? I mean, yeah. not taking anything away from you, see a lot. No, they played. They played really good. And uh, I just thought we had them most of the game. In the last five minutes, they came back and they uh, got in front, and we couldn't claw back and from behind and get in front. So I think they uh, still won, but no, taking nothing away from them, they played a great game. How would you assess the way you guys guarded Josh Smith and David Ware? Josh Smith's a big dude. We uh, just tried to stop him getting the ball, uh, tried to front him. Pretty much try everything. It was still pretty effective. Uh, yeah, what can I say? He's a big dude. Once he gets it down there, there's not much anyone can do. I don't care who you are, but he played a good game and they run some good plays and they got him some good touches close to the rim and that's why he's most effective and that's why he was good tonight. And defensively, or I mean offensively for you, when he's playing defense, I mean, it just seems like he takes up so much room. Does that make it harder to, to get just to get to the rim? Yeah. Well, it's like. Yeah, he's a big presence in there, so uh, you gotta adjust your game a little bit. But uh, he's a good player, and he'll be a great player at next level, I think. And uh, just taking up space and the key is what he does best, and he plays his strengths like any other team would. What happened? Uh, I don't think most people saw it. But what happened on that when Stover? Did he, did he take a shot at you, or? Yeah, he just we were just both playing hard. He. Uh, Came down and tried to get a seal, I think. I don't really know what happened. I just got knocked over. Got up, kept playing. We're all good. It's just both guys playing hard and competing. Things like that are going to happen. And it seemed like that kind of fired you guys up a little bit. Did you guys you know, feel a little fired up after that happened? Yeah, you know, anything, uh, anything that can go in your team's favor, you're going to try and make the most of and bring all the energy you can from. So, yeah, that could have played a part in why we were playing well in the first half. but. Yeah, as I said, it's just two guys playing hard. It's just some things are going to happen in the game like that. Can you talk about your run you've been on the last, you know, three games and just really, you know, what's been the key to that? I know you, you would rather win than, you know, score 20 some odd points, but putting that aside, just what's been the key to your success recently? I don't know. Just uh, I'm just doing everything I can to help the team win. If I get shots, then I'm going to put them in. If uh, once they collapse in, I'm going to kick it out. And then our guards are going to make shots and. It's just what I've been doing. It's been the same thing all year. It's just uh, you know, just getting more touches, and that's about the only thing I can say. Just been working hard, and just need to get some wins, and, and everything will be better. But until we get those wins, not, like nothing else matters. I don't care about anything else. Brock, you start to get to the point here now where you, you guys go on you know, head to Corvallis, and uh, you start to get to see all the teams now again for a second time. How different does it make it facing a team for the second time the same season? Well, obviously you've uh, you played them once. You know what they do. Uh, try and take things away from the last game they play, whether we won or lost, and try and change up what we need to make changes in. And uh, just like playing any team twice, you know you know who their best players are. You know what they do. You know their sets. It's just a matter of whether you can guard and how you go on the night. But I think it'll be a bit better for Paris second time around.